What's going on everybody? It's Clay here with CR Performance. Today I'm going to be showing you guys if you've ever been wondering how to tune your shift scheduling points for an 8-speed Dodge transmission, this is the video for you. Now, starting off, 8-speed Dodge transmission. Last video we did a 5-speed, kind of showed you what we do, take you through the whole process, right? When you get to an 8-speed, there's a lot more into it. And why am I showing you the shift scheduling part right away? Well, I'm currently doing a tune, or kind of completed it. Got to make a few more tweaks. Probably going to add a little bit more. Talk about that in a second. But uh, the customer that I tuned a 2021 Dodge Challenger SRT Scat Pack for um, was happy with the tune. Took it out to the track. Wasn't really satisfied with the um, oh shift points in the actual RPM band. So he asked me, hey, how can we get some more out of it? Can we delay that? Of course we can. So, this is what I ended up doing. Now, you're looking at all this stuff going, okay, uh, why are there so many aggression tables? Why is there 8 million shift pattern tables? And the reason is because Dodge wanted to make something that was extremely versatile for an 8-speed transmission, right? All of these shift patterns correspond to your driving style. And his driving style corresponds with these shift patterns, but with the different shift patterns it just kind of depends what vehicle you're in how you're driving it and that's why there's so many you know kudos to dodge for making something that's so versatile like that but uh you know for the tuning guys it makes it a little bit more difficult but it's not too bad it's more so just adding an extra step of with tuning a dodge transmission which i haven't really done a lot of stuff with chevy or ford but i know with the dodges you can't really just throw, like, go read a book and throw stuff at it. It You really have to go out, take a log, build off that log, repeat the process. It, it makes you do the actual, you know, you can't just go from the book, which is good, which is good. It, it, you know, it helps show that I can at least go take a log and build stuff off of that, right? So, thankfully, I've already tuned this vehicle once. I've already taken the log. I know the shift patterns. So we ended up changing these shift patterns. So as we knew from a recent earlier video, the green means that it's changed. Now, the last one was a five speed. Now with the eight speed, a little bit more complex, but in these shift patterns, what you're seeing is the pedal position and then all of your shifts. Now, the customer that I'm referring to started taking his car a lot more to the track. He's really starting to just use his car more for drag racing. That's kind of the application that it's getting used for. It's not really cruising around anymore. We're getting to that point where it's just going to be a lot more just for racing. So he's really trying to get that extra little bit out of it, which is really cool, especially with drag racing applications, because that's where the tuning part gets a lot more fun, right? It's a lot more challenging. You got to figure out how to squeak out that little bit more. Now, what we're doing just in this video is a shift scheduling. As you can see here, now remember, as we learned in the five speed video, these numbers are not engine RPMs. That is output shaft RPMs. So you gotta remember that. Now the customer wants us to do like 65 to 6,800 RPMs for the actual engine RPMs at the shift points. That is not corresponding to this. Uh, this isn't updated RPMs. We're going to make like shifts or little steps up to it. Now with this, this is increased. I will show you guys the tune that I had before it. The tune that's in it right now. This is the newest tune that we're going to end up putting in it in a couple weeks. So this is the tune before. So as you can see, they're a little bit less. And here's the differences, right? This is a big difference right there. So this is like all your wide open throttle. I'm going to be end up, I'm going to end up increasing this. We're just going to kind of take it, see what he likes it with it. And then we'll work from there, right? And you just kind of copy and paste from there. You don't actually copy and paste. You have to, because all these tables are usually slightly different. So I don't recommend doing that. <clears throat> but with that, you just take these, you do this, you take the data from that table, put it in an Excel sheet, do some calculations, throw it back in that table with the updated calculations with your preferred shift points, which for us, we're getting way further into the RPM band, right? That's our goal here. We're drag racing. We're trying to get more power so we can maximize our shift points. So you go from all these shift patterns, change all these, change those aggression tables, and then that will make sure that you're cars start shifting at later points car or truck whatever vehicle you're tuning your eight speed for 
But other than that, that's really it for the shift scheduling part. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.